Welcome Vibe Guides. My name's Sarah. Top of the mat for the collective breath to signal the start of the power flow. You're in mountain pose. Your arms are at your side body. Palms face forward. Inhale, arms up. Reach up, look up. Deep belly breath here. Engaging the musculature of your diaphragm. And exhale. Push the walls away. Empty out all that stagnant air. Okay, so now we start our power flow. You'll take a collective breath each time you come here. The first part of that power flow is rhythmic. It feels really good. I, I want you to think um, angel wings or like uh, eagle wings. So we are flying, inhale up, maybe they cross at the top, exhale down. Big, you know, rhythmic movements. Sorry, let me close the door. <clears throat> Big rhythmic movements. Um, I put on the sheet halfway down because for me that's, that what feels like flying. Inhale, arms up, exhale, halfway down. Like you have like, you know, angel wings behind. I think they'll look really pretty once we all start, you know, flying together. So it's an inhale, open. You can even cross. Hands are just kind of flaily. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Big breath and you're moving from about the middle of the back of the thoracic. Exhale, swan dive down like you're you know, exploding up and forward. <sighs> Empty out the breath in your forward fold. Inhale into standing split. This left leg is like a lever. So the more you shift the weight into your palms, the higher you're going to go. With the expectation of opening as much as you can, <clears throat> but knowing that standing split might be right here. So, you know, model, model wherever your lever is highest. That's an in-breath. On your exhale, micro bend the front knee, plant the back toes, all 10 toes front of the house, rise up. Crescent lunge, big breath in, belly in, knit your ribs back. Make sure that you have all 10 toes pointing forward. And if you notice some people are like, oh, this hurts, or you know, if people come to you after class, this hurts, invite them to micro bend the back leg so you immediately get into the booty, to the glute and that'll clear up some of that compression. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, thumbs cross. This is a mudra. It's a mind-body connection. Exhale, slice right. So we're taking almost like a chop. Exhale, slice right. Empty out your body, excuse me, your breath. It's an inhale, dial down your back foot, straighten your front leg, left hand reaches to the right wrist. We pull, pull, pull. Another chance for a mudra, thumb, and your pointer finger. Gaze up, sky archer. Exhale, tip it forward, right hand down, left arm up, triangle pose. That's a really nice uh, relief on the exhale. Inhale into reverse triangle, straight arms, straight legs. Exhale, tee out your arms, pivot the hips towards the front of the room. So pulling your right hip point back, left hip point forward, place your left hand on the mat. You might have to inch worm your back foot this is revolved triangle. Gaze up. Again, we like to jet out this right hip, pull the right hip point back, gaze up at your top hand. That's an exhale because it's a twist. On your next inhale, look down, bend your front knee. Left hand is at about 11 o'clock. Push off, revolved half moon. So you're already in the twist. You maintain the twist, shift the weight into your front foot. Left foot is flexed, and again, we're revisiting that lever here. So a half moon could look like this. A revolved half moon could look like this. Exhale, close it at the top of your mat. Bone by bone, roll all the way up. We'll take it on the opposite side. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, fly. Inhale, arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, swan dive down. Big movements here. Hold. Inhale, the right leg goes high for your standing split. Exhale, micro bend your front knee, plant the back toes. Inhale, lengthen up into crescent lunge. Equal amount of weight in both feet. Exhale, power slice to the left. So you're keeping your arms straight. You're keeping your torso nice and lifted. Inhale, dial down the back foot. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Maybe take a mudra here. Sky archer. Exhale into your Triangle pose, left hand down, right arm up. Top hand and core pull you up, reaching up and back, reverse your triangle. Exhale, tee out your arms, 
twirl, pivot to the front of the house, right hand down, maybe scoot your back foot up, revolved triangle. Pulling the left hip point back, right hip point forward. Take your gaze down, inhale, fly into your standing one leg balance. This is revolved half moon. Maintaining your twist is the goal. The goal is not to get this back leg up the highest. The goal is to open the chest towards the sky and wherever this back foot falls, that's okay. Keeping your right foot flexed, toes towards the kneecap, and then we'll close the pose. You're at the top of the mat. Bone by bone, roll all the way up. We'll skip the vinyasa. Go right into the opposite side. We'll take a collective breath. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms down. So you're just speeding it up just like, just a little bit. We really want to make room for these big breaths. Exhale, fly. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale into your standing split. Some people, if they've been coming for a while, you can take this into like a, a handstand hop. Just land it with the same, you know, foot in front. And it wouldn't be a switch kick. It would just be a, so you're here. It would be a bump. If you wanted to take a little straight, little straight leg hop, don't have to, but it's just an option. You can say it. Um, if you would like to transition to crescent by way of handstand, you can go there. We'll probably have like one or two people that, that might want to do that. Um, <clears throat> okay. Summit pose. Shiva squat. Shiva squat is so easy coming off of revolved half moon. So it's an in breath. On your out breath, knee to knee, kiss your knees. You can stay here in a revolved Shiva squat. If you would like a challenge, pull both hands to your heart. And that is a challenge because you're not only balancing, but you're loading this right leg. Pull the heel as close as you can into the glute. Knit your rib cage in. Try to keep your sternum lifted. Shoulders slide into your back pockets. Hands to heart. Plant both feet. Rise up to standing. We'll do it on the opposite side. Big breath in, exhale, fly. Big breath in and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. And you can either take a hop or plant it right into your crescent. Exhale, slice. Inhale, up into your sky archer. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse your triangle, exhale, revolve your triangle. So we visited three triangles there. Inhale into your revolved half moon. And exhale, kiss your knees, knee to knee, pull the right heel into the glute. And stay here in this revolve for that summit. This will do too. This will be the harder of the two. So some of us might stay here. I want you to model here. Cool, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good on the timing last week. So this is the same, it's pretty much the same amount of poses. <clears throat> we should be good, All right? And again, if y'all have any questions, you know, just send me a text. All my luck, all my light, namaste.